continue to show you some of the basics as to how the Gator Watch works. On one side of the Gator Watch, you'll see there are three buttons. And on the other side, you'll see there's one. We'll go through each of these buttons in turn. The first button on the top is the on off button. When you press that button for three seconds, it'll turn the watch on. The same action will turn the watch off. On the top right of the screen, you'll see yellow dots. That shows how much battery you have left. On the top left, you'll see blue dots. That's showing the signal strength of the area in which you are in. You'll notice that the display turns off very quickly. We have done this in order to conserve the battery life. Now when you short press on the same on off button, this will toggle through the time and the name of your child. So the second button is the plus button. Now when we long press that button, if we hold it down for about three seconds, that will call the first number that you have listed under the emergency numbers list on the app. The display will go off again to conserve battery, but the call is actually being made. To end the call, you click on the on off button. And that ends the call. In the same plus button, if you short press that button, this is your voice message feature. Now the watch can send and receive voice messages using data rather than the 60 minutes that's allocated to your service plan. Now, please be aware that when you send messages over data, it can often be very unreliable. And this is because we send data over 2G and it really depends on the area in which you're in to determine how strong the 2G signals are. So if you short press that, you long press again on the plus to send the message and you hold the minus button to listen to the message. You will know that you have received a message on the watch as this speech bubble that you see on the left will pop up. Now the minus button. When you long press the minus button, it will call the second number that's listed under the emergency numbers list on the app. End the call. Now when you short press the minus button, this actually goes through the directory. So it goes through the list of the emergency contact numbers and all the numbers that are listed under the white list. And if you choose to call a particular number, you find it and you long press it for three seconds. And that makes the call. Okay, now the fourth button here on this side is the SOS button. It has an S on it. We advise that you tell your child to use this really only in emergency situations. What you do is you press down on the SOS button, you long press it, and you'll see an S appear on the screen. What this does is then the watch automatically starts to call the numbers on the emergency list. So the three numbers that are entered in the emergency list on the Gator app. It will call the first number. If the first number doesn't pick up, it'll call the second and then the third. 
and will continue to do so until one number picks up. Notifications will be sent through the app to these three numbers as well. 